right now is the very first time in human history where you can say with a straight face, you may not die. You believe that? Oh, there's, there's no question. It's hard to believe tech millionaire Brian Johnson is 46 years old, but no matter his chronological age, he's striving for the biological age of an 18 year old. His team of 30 doctors utilize all the latest tech. The plan is rigorous. It's actually really hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it burns really fast. At $2 million a year, a life like this is out of reach for almost everyone. And this is what I take on a daily basis of supplements. It's alphabetized and we have a year supply of everything we do. It's part of his quest to live forever, which he believes may happen in our lifetime. And what I've shown is for the very first time, we could potentially think about ourselves improving at the speed of technology. On this day at his home in Los Angeles, he lets us into his pricey routine and his excitement for the future of the human race. I'm the first human to opt into an algorithm that takes better care of me than I can myself. He calls his all-encompassing protocol Project Blueprint. Blueprint was born out of trying to fix my own problems, but then taking care of my family, my kids and my parents, my friends. It's generated a steady churn of shock headlines. He once injected himself with his son's plasma. I mean, the way that happened is my dad is now 70. One day we were talking on the phone. I said, Dad, also, there's this, these plasma exchanges people have been doing that have shown some evidence that is potentially helpful for people with cognitive decline. Now, it's still experimental. It's not you know, ironclad yet. But if you want to try it, I'd be more than willing to offer you my plasma. And my son overheard the conversation. He's like, Dad, I'm in. So he did it knowing uh, full well what he was doing. He recognizes how insane this all sounds. The perceptions people have about Blueprint and me are all wrong. They think I live in a cage. They think that I'm somehow deprived of joy. They think that somehow I just don't understand their joy of pizza and donuts. They think I don't understand, but I do. I understand all of it. I've been where that person's at. Do I, you eat pizza and donuts? I don't. <laughs> and you know what? They sound awful to me. Like, it would make me feel sick, and I would, I would feel miserable for 24 hours. He wasn't always this happy or this rich. Growing up in a modest Mormon household in Utah, at 21, he returned from a mission trip to Ecuador and came back with one goal in mind. The only thing I wanted to do with my life was trying to improve the human race. And so you set out on that mission? I said, OK, I'm going to make a goal and make a whole bunch of money by the age of 30. With money, you can mobilize things uh, more effectively versus having to ask people permission for you know, what they would want to do in the world. So how did you make it happen? I just started building companies. I then bought Venmo, and we got bought for just under a billion in 2013. I read that you were really unhappy during that time. I was born into a religion that's a very tight knit. It's it basically it consumes your, your entire identity. And then I got married, I had children, I was doing a startup and those worlds kind of just combined. So the lack of sleep and the grind on a startup created some depression, which then deepened when I was having an existential crisis with my religion, which then, you know, having problems with my partner. How did you get yourself out of that? Uh, when I was 34 years old, in one year's time, I sold my company uh, my marriage ended, I left the church, and I went off to remap my whole existence. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Caution may cause loss of age. <laughs> As we enter Brian's clinic. This uses multispectral imaging, and then it generates 10 data points on your skin health. We like see a room really full of high-tech, hospital-grade gear chosen to measure his progress and hopefully help turn back the hands of time. But Brian believes it's not about what you start doing, it's what you stop. Instead of doing something positive, stop the negative. So instead of trying to choose a supplement that you want to take, stop going to bed late or stop skipping exercise. So oftentimes, stopping is more powerful than starting. And it's about where you may live and what you eat. In blue zones, we're seeing people who live below the U.S. poverty line living about 10 years longer than Americans. Author Dan Butner has written extensively about so-called blue zones, but says that living longer doesn't have to be so complicated. We know, for example, people who eat beans, beans are the cheapest food in the grocery store, live about four years longer than people who don't eat beans. 
So I'd much rather see people eating beans than shooting themselves up with other people's blood. Brian says his pricey investment in himself has turned back his biological clock by five years, and he hopes to live a long life with the people he loves. I'm just so happy I get to exist. I'm so pleased that I'm alive, and I just want to keep on playing, and I hope others do too. Our thanks to Eva. We should note thus far there's no definitive research that has proven any medicine or device can reverse the effects of aging on any meaningful way. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.